This video is meant to show you how to use the HSD language objective generator. While this isn't a perfect tool, it can be helpful in creating language objectives and it um, sort of forces you through the process to be sure that you have a function, a coordinating form that matches that function, and then it's up to you to come up with the content. But let's get started. Students will be able to, we're gonna select the function. What is it that we want them to be able to do? These, this is a great bank of functions. They are not listed alphabetically. They're listed by the acquisition of language skills that a student would have. So this is uh, kind of the beginning area. I'm gonna choose that, express needs and likes. Then I click next and it repeats, students will express needs and likes. These are the forms that go specifically with the needs and likes function. So um, these forms are listed, as you can see, by ELP level from beginning to advanced. So beginning up here, advanced down below. I'm going to choose an early intermediate using simple sentences with subject, verb, object. Click next. And this is where you have to type in your content. So they're going to be doing the function in the form in order to, I'm going to put in here, um, relay the importance of the inventions and innovations of the Aztec. And then I click Submit. Now, what should happen typically in, in 20 to 30 seconds, an email is generated that will deliver my language objective as well as some other resources. So here is the email that I received, and it just says, congratulations, you've generated a language objective. Explore the linked resources and apply co your content vocabulary to provide students with language supports needed for learning. Enjoy from Tech Teach Grow. So that's who the email will come from. Here's a link, and basically what you have here is a um, Google slideshow that's been generated for you with your language objectives. So you can see students will be able to express needs and likes, uh, using simple sentences with subject, verb, object, in order to relay the importance of, of the inventions and innovations of the Aztec. So you can see I have two periods there. This is fully editable. You can fix whatever you want. Um, there is a, uh, it's color coordinated. Again, function is blue, form is yellow, your content's in green. Um, the second page of the slideshow, if you choose to use it, will take you to resources that support the function. So if I click on this, um, it will take me to uh, sentence frames that support the function express needs and likes. These are also listed by ELP level. Those are available for you to use. Um, the third page are more language support resources. These are linked out to different resources that you can find on teaching and learning. And then the last one is just a black and white version of the same slideshow. Um, you can see, uh, again, it's fully editable. You can delete slides from here. You can copy and paste slides out of here. You can simply just copy and paste the objective um, if that's what you if that's what you want to do. If you want to get back to the generator and make more language objectives, there's a link down here and again more support resources. So hopefully this is a tool that can be helpful for you. Again, it's not always perfect. It needs some editing at times, but I think it's a step in the right direction. Hope this helps. Happy generating.